For over three decades, Bill Murray has been entertaining audiences around the world with performances that range from gut-busting to heart-wrenching. And in his new film, St. Vincent, he delivers all that and more. You hungry or something? Hello, sir. That figures. But perhaps his most surprising performance is off-screen, living life to the fullest in unexpected circumstances. If you tell yourself a story Where the secrets just like mine You are the most spontaneous, open person. And I've always wanted to ask you whether that's something that you've consciously adopted. Well, it's a, great, it's a wonderful question. And when you say a conscious decision, you know, when I'm conscious, it is a conscious decision. <laughs> it really is. And uh, someone told me some secrets early on, you know, about living. And that you can do the very best you can when you're very, very relaxed. No matter what it is, whatever your job is, the more relaxed you are, the better you are. And it's changed my life. You know, when you come into a funny situation, like getting into a taxi with a guy who's a saxophone player, I said, when do you practice it? I don't know. I, I drive like 14 hours a day or something like that. Said, well, where's your sax? He said, it's in the trunk. I was like, you know, that's two and two. It makes four. Let's <laughs> pull over and get in the trunk, and I'll, I know how to drive a car. <laughs> you know, not only did he play all the way to Sausalito, which is a long ways, we stopped and got barbecue, and <laughs> he was playing like it's some kind of, you know, what people would call like a sketchy rib place in Oakland at like 2.15 in the morning. And it's like, relax, man, you got the horn, we're cool here, you know? For me, what's interesting is the choices you've made in the last 15 or 20 years. Things like Rushmore and uh, Tannenbaums. Is that all pink, right? It's best that they're all pink, yeah. And Broken Flowers, you know. Lost in translation. A ring of ding ding. You see a lot of people, when they get a certain kind of stardom, hang on to it as hard as they can. And I think Bill just keeps challenging himself to try different things, really scary things. And, um, and it's extraordinary how you succeeded at it. I'll get him. I'll get him with this Swiss Army knife. The Swiss trained me to kill, and I will do it. I will grab these guys by the neck, take the toothpick, and stick it right in between their teeth. That movie, actually, your relationship with Chris Makepeace on that film reminds me of St. Vincent. You have a relationship with a young man with somewhat Doesn't reminiscent. sound right when he says it, does it? I'm going to show you one thing. Do it right and break the guy's nose. Break his nose? Relax. You're not going to get it right. St. Vincent is directed by Ted Melfi, who's nobody. And, uh, it's probably here. It's his first film. He wrote it and directed it, and he's done a wonderful job in it. Why is he mowing your dirt patch? I'm showing him how the world works. You work, you get paid, you drink. Are you drinking alcohol? I honestly don't remember. Hey movie fans, Valerie here with a cool Avengers movie fact. Did you know that the SHIELD research facility was actually NASA's Planbrook Station, the world's largest space environment simulation chamber used to test rocket engines and space stations. Also housed at the station is a hypersonic tumor facility and cryogenic propellant tank. <gasps> wow, now that's pretty amazing. That's it for today. Subscribe to keep up to date on all the latest releases and remember, walls have ears. Bye bye.